I'd like to start out and be very clear. This had nothing to do with any impropriety on my part. There is no smoking gun. And I think it's important, imperative for everybody to understand that, that uh, uh, there is none. And I want to first start and uh, really where we started. And if you think back, eight years seems like uh, yesterday in many ways, but I was faced with a significant financial deficit, serious questions about managerial control within the department, and a high level of skepticism from the university community and general public about the future prospects of athletics at CU. Wow, that, that really says a lot. So I think that it's important to think, okay, that's where we were. How do we move it forward and what do we do? Because I am extremely proud as a Boulderite to, to know what we accomplished. And when I say we, we're talking about all the people that helped us and put it together. I'm so fortunate to have people that were in the trenches with us. Many are in this room today. I built a solid foundation based on strong guiding principles. Again, uh, very proud of how we run a clean program and a bold vision for competitiveness in the Pac-12 conference. I met virtually every expectation of all my incentives for eight years straight. I gave it my all. I carried the ball forward. The program is positioned well for a bright future. My heart knows the honest and passionate commitment that we have made. My family and I and all of our people that have worked with us, and I have no regrets about that. Your questions. So as you saw, we walked in with a significant de de deficit. I believe it was $8 million. Up until last year, we balanced the budget every single year. Last year, we were short because of why? Because of the transition from the Big 12 to the Pac-12, roughly, uh, what I want to say, $6 million approximately. And a financing plan has been built in conjunction with campus. We integrate our financial plans and our business models well with campus. That's not an independent activity of mine. So we're short this year. Why are you short this year? Well, obviously, a couple unduckables ones that, that obviously we didn't see coming, but yet really uh, how can the athletic director or a coach or an administrator effectively address those? The first one is we were shy of $2.6 million in ticket sales in football. Obviously a result of the performance of the team, and, and I get that, and, and I have some culpability in that, but 2.6 short there. We did not receive a distribution from Pac-12 Enterprises this year, and we are not going to receive one again next year. Larry's doing a phenomenal job of pulling that together, but it is not distributing revenue yet. To give you an idea, the Big Ten Network distributes over $8 million per institution, and in the Pac-12, currently it's zero. However, the Pac-12, with under Larry's leadership, owns 100% of our network, so we didn't receive any distribution there. And obviously, we had some of the expenses associated with the uh, with the buyout, but uh, of our football coaching staff this last uh, December. So. That led us to that. Next year, we're going to be short again. But think of all the key investments we put in place to build our competitiveness and all the different things that we're trying to do. That's part of our sustained excellence initiative. We're trying to ensure, for example, with the lacrosse program, commit and invest in that and help it be viable from day one rather than just kind of, we'll hire one coach and you're hired, Ann Elliott, good luck, hope it works. Instead, give her the full, excuse me, the full resources to be able to be successful and put that together. So uh, I... I, uh, again, we had a lot of help with campus, a lot of chefs in the kitchen helping us with that. And I thought we did a great job with it. And again, why? Raising money, selling tickets, selling boxes, selling club seats, all the concessions, all those, red that's the business. That's how we run the business. The incredible work we did with Learfield, our stating naming rights initiative with them is unprecedented in the nation. So I'm proud of all that. Very proud of it. Is it going well right now? No, but guess what? We knew this was coming. We knew it was going to be a two-year tough window, and campus knew that. I, I firmly believe, Vic, with all my heart, there is no one individual behind this. And again, they have this prerogative to do it. Uh, there's, there is uh, no major donor like some people are talking about. There's no truth to that. And, and unless someone wants to come forward from the university and say that, again, uh, timing, all those different pieces are extremely um, frustrating to me. And again, I recognize their right to have who they want to have as their athletic director. And I've been a company guy from day one, and I'll continue to be a company guy, and that's their prerogative. And uh, it's not 
It's a little bit different, but it's no different than when the Broncos decide who their quarterback wants to be. That's their prerogative, uh, despite how popular or unpopular the other guy is. And uh, again, I, I, I don't know. You'd have to ask them those questions. You say they are men. Who are they are They, they university leadership. So in closing, no regrets. I am proud as heck of, of what we've done, and I thank you for your role in helping us. I wish see you the best. Again, I am extremely proud of what we've accomplished. Do I wish we could have continued to carry the ball and do what we want to do? Absolutely. I look forward to my next opportunity to lead and continue to inspire the numerous constituents important to a competitive program. Again, extremely inspired of the relationships that will last a lifetime and salute those who partnered in making so many great things happen and that many student athletes will enjoy for the future. I've been a competitor all my life and I've strived daily with a high intensity to put CU in the best environment to be competitive. And I encourage all buffs to stand shoulder to shoulder and embrace the entire athletics enterprise with all their heart. Go buffs.